Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Apps. So yesterday we talked about phishing and ways that we can analyze websites for safety and security. And we are just going to continue talking about that more today. So let's get started. So our activity goals for today are to learn techniques people use to steal identities, review ways to prevent identity theft, know to talk to a trusted adult if you think they're a victim of identity theft, recognize the signs of phishing attempts, be careful about how and with whom to share personal info. These goals are the same as yesterday. Like I said, we're going to continue talking about phishing and ways that we can analyze messages and websites that we visit for safety and security. So here are some questions to ask yourself when evaluating messages and sites you find online. You can use this as a guide as you answer the following questions. So say that you get a message while you are using the internet and first thing you're going to ask yourself is, does this message look right. What's your first instinct about this message and do you notice any untrustworthy parts of the message? You're also going to look and see, is the email offering you something free? If the email is offering you something free, it is most likely not real because free offers usually aren't really free. You're not ever really going to get a message online that says that you want something free out of nowhere. It is most likely going to be a scam. You're also going to think to yourself, is it asking you for any personal information? Some websites ask for personal info so they can send you more scams. For example, personality tests could be gathering facts to make it easy to guess your password or other secret information. Most real businesses, on the other hand, won't ask for personal information over email. So just be aware if you see a message that is asking you personal information, such as your address, your phone number, or your family members' names, or things like that, that you do not give out your personal information to any suspicious person and any suspicious messages. Is it a chain email or social post? Emails and posts that ask you to forward them to everyone you know can put you and others at risk. Don't do it unless you're sure of the source and sure the message is safe to pass on. So emails that ask you to forward and send to other people are most likely scams as well because they want you to send that email to other people so those people can also open the email and they can get their personal information as well so be sure to never forward any suspicious emails to anyone else and you also want to look at any pop-up that you see online and you're going to look and see does it have any fine print at the bottom of most documents, you'll find the fine print. This text is tiny and often contains the stuff you're supposed to miss. For example, a headline at the top might say you want a free phone, but in the fine print, you'll read that you actually have to pay that company $200 a month. So any pop-up or website claiming that you have won something, is most likely going to have fine print and the fine print is going to have information that a lot of people don't really read because it is so small and tiny that it's really not important to a lot of people. But now that you know that fine print contains information that is the truth about some of the free things that you're getting offered, now you'll know that it's important to look at the fine print print. So now that we've gone over more ways to analyze messages and websites that you visit for safety, you're going to take the short quiz in Schoology and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye!